Hello, this is the first lesson of CivilCAD. In this tutorial, we'll talk about 1. How to open a project, 2. Project no name, 3. Project prototype, and 4. Configurations and options in CivilCAD. As soon as we open the CivilCAD, we can see on the top the main menu of the CivilCAD. Here on the bottom, we have our topography coordinates window. If for some reason this window is closed, we can open it through topography coordinates like this. Here in the middle, we have our drawing environment. Right now, I'm using AutoCAD, but it can be ZWCAD as well. Today, we will talk about our two main projects, no name and prototype. You can see on the top the name of the project. Right now, it's no name. When the civil cut opens, the project no name will open automatically. This type of project is being used for backup. If the civil cut closes incorrectly or suddenly stops working, you can reopen it, click Save As, and continue working. All the data will be saved except DWG files. We are not working on this type of project. To start working, we will always open a new project. The second project is Prototype. We are using Prototype to configure settings for all our projects. We will approach the Prototype through File, Open Prototype. Now we can see on the top that we are in project prototype. So what we can define here? First of all, our drawing environment. If we want to change it, we have to do it through prototype. Click configuration. And here under general settings, we can find our drawing environment. We can change between, between different versions of AutoCAD or switch to ZWCAD as I'm doing right now. Here, under the language section, you can choose the language only for the reports. We can go to General, Caption. Here we can define company name and other details that will appear in the reports as well. In Roads, Horizontal Alignment, we can press Options. And here, in the Find section, we can define the distance between cross-section along roads. Right now it's 20 meters, but we can change it if we want. Some of the settings we can define during the installation, but most of the things are here. Now we will close the civil cut with Save Through Prototype. Yes, I want to save the changes. And now I will open the civil code again. And now it will be open with ZW code. Great, now we have the ZW code as our drawing environment. Now we'll open a new project and start working. We'll go to File, New Project. We're not going to save changes in, in the no name. And now I will open a new folder. For each project, we will create a different folder because civil code projects contain many files and they they, all the files should be together in the same folder. We will name it intro1. The name of the project will be the same name as the folder. Intro 1 as well. Press save. And now we can see on the top the name of the folder and the name of the project. Each project in CivilCAD we will start with import of topography. We can import topography in two different ways import file with points or DWG files. We'll start with the first way, import of points. Here in the bottom, in our topography coordinates window, we can find load from file. Here on the right side, we can choose the format of the file we need. I will choose txt file. Okay, this is the txt file I want to open, but first I want to check it. I will open it with the notepad and here I can see the points. This is the points name, this is the X, this is the Y and this is the Z. 
I will close it and open it in our topography coordinates. Now I can see all the points right here. If I pick a specific line, we can see on the right side which number of line did I choose. Right now I'm in line number 7 out of 308 total lines we have. Now we can press refresh and we'll see all our points on the screen. The civil cut creates layer that contains the block of the point. For example, I will choose point number 25. I will zoom to the point. Here, now I can see the point on the screen. And now I can list. Now we can see that the insertion point of the block is the exact coordinate of the point. You can see it right here. This is the insertion point and this is the coordinate. Now we'll explain what we see here. 25, this is the point name. 338, this is the Z, the height. And 61, this is the insertion point. Now we'll get to know some actions that we can use in our topography coordinate window. So we already know load from file, we can save, we can add an empty line, we can erase all lines or a specific line. Here we have mark all, we use it as select all, and here we have copy and paste. If we want, we can copy a specific point, but we also have an option to copy a few points together. If we want to copy a few points together or make any action with several points, we need to mark block first. I will show you how. I will pick point number 23 and point number 25. All those three points I will mark block. I will use copy, paste. Now you can see that we created a copy of these points, but to ensure they are different from the original point, they marked as C, but with the same name point as the original point. Now I can erase the points. Of course, if I want to erase them all together, I need to mark block again. Here in options, we can define in which format the points are. Now the points are in block mode, as we can see right here. If we want to use standard mode, we can define it right here, and then we can define whatever we want to see. Right now, I will leave it as block mode. Another option we have is the scale. This is the physical size of each point display. The scale now is customized to be printed as 1 to 250. It means that the size of the text is ready to be printed as 250. If, for example, we are about to print documents in bigger scale, we'll define 500. Then the size of each point and each text will increase. The insertion point will remain the same. Now, to see the change, I will refresh. Okay, now we can see that the text is changed. It's bigger. In our coordinates window, on the right side, we can see a list. This list of action enables us to operate in the drawing. As those comments directly influence the coordinates list, for example, I will choose pick. I will add a point on the screen and immediately I can see it in our topography list. You can use those actions or those actions, it will do exactly the same thing. Only here you use those actions on the screen only and those actions you can use only in the topography coordinates window. Thank you for watching, see you next time!